okay so we will see the solution of problem number 2.7 part a in which they give this circuit we can redraw the circuit like this just to make it very convenient okay so if you will see here let's say this is ix okay so when this device is off the drop across r1 will be zero okay so v in less than v th will be i is equal to zero isn't it now we need to see that okay after after vth point what will happen to i so from vth greater than ve to some point we will see that this device will be in saturation because it will fulfill so okay let me let me um see this is v out right so vgs is v in minus v out vds is 1 minus v out so vds vgs minus vth should be less than vds so or, or else vds should be greater than vgs minus vth for saturation condition and if you will see that this is vds is one minus v out and here is v in minus v out minus vth so v out v out will be cancelled this will come so v in one plus vth so this value will be one plus vth so up to this point one plus vth I mean from, from VTH to 1 plus VTH this range in this range if Vn is then your current will be of current saturation I, I saturation you can you can find that equation by just putting um, the equation of I saturation okay and from 1 plus VTH greater than or equal to V in to 3 voltage 3 volt maybe that is VD yes that is VD so up to 3 volt it will be in tired so you you need to uh, write the equation of V I tired okay so and V out is nothing but R into I X so whatever I you are finding into R will be your V out so if, so if you will see the V v in versus sorry v out versus v in will be like this first point is vth this point is 1 plus vth and up to 3 voltage this is 0 because current itself is 0 drop is 0 from this to this point current is increasing like this so into r is constant constant so the graph the the nature of graph will be same and after that let's say this is one volt after that tire region equation it will it will curve like this okay so there's two point you need to uh, think about now one can um confused like okay what will happen if vgs is so high i mean the vg is so high such that this vds is zero so that your i triad will be zero right and the at, at the first glance you will able to uh, you will think like that but in fact this vds will not be zero because of body effect channel length modulation and all i mean body effect will be the main main reason for that not channel length modulation 
for body effect if you are considering here we assume that body and channel length modulation no, are not there if you will consider the body effect vth will um, going to increase here okay so you will never reach the vds is equal to zero uh, um, value and your vgs minus vth into vds right and one half vds square this this value this vds will be going lower and lower this will going lower and lower but this will be high when your vgs is high isn't it so you will find some i there definitely also in some in the i id versus vds you will find this kind of graph right so this is VDS and this is ID. So, so you can you can see that okay when VDS is zero, our current is zero, right? But in this case, some current will be definitely flowing from the source follower. This is nothing but source follower or common drain amplifier. You will see in the third chapter when we will solve that those um, problems. But this current will not be zero. Just keep in mind okay thanks part b we will see later